Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Keep It Simple. I am your host Mr. D and today we're going to be adding to our solar panel this solar tracker. Now you might have said well in your last episode you had two solar panels and it it worked. It worked uh, very well it worked good. Uh, we're going to make it work better. Uh, the drawbacks of this setup was that in overcast or cloudy days they wouldn't do anything. So with this, they will do something. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that solar panel and leave that solar panel to supply power to our controller. So first we're going to disconnect the power and then remove the screws holding the panel to the other panel. get our little controller and we'll need to get a ladder because that's a little high and uh, it's always best to have your work at shoulder length. I'll be using these little L brackets to mount it because you don't want to screw into the top of your solar panel because that would damage it. On this sensor it has a little east so you want to face it to the east which is the direction the sun is rising. I like to use it as a gauge so I know where to put my little bracket. You want to use some self-drilling small metal screws. This is a delicate operation because it is plastic and you don't want to, you want to use a little bit of force. In fact, this has a torque converter, a torque setting, and uh, you can use it and it will, it will stop whenever it reaches a certain amount of force. There we go. Now, we also have a weatherproof box we picked up for about $15. And we're going to put, we want to protect the controller so it will fit inside this little box. And we'll drill little holes in the bottom 
and feed our wires through the bottom up, and we don't have to worry about water messing up our controller. There's two ways you can do it. You can either put it on the front side, or you can put it on the back side, but either way, as you can see, it's going to be sticking out a little bit. Now for this, we have to get longer screws, so I'll be right back. All right, well, I've got it set up. It's running fine. Right here we have the panel. I've got it tilted slightly. It's feeding up through here, coming down, coming into the power. And from here, I'm going to get some zip ties, of course, and get this a uh, little more neater. This right here is coming down. I followed the instructions, uh, yellow, green, red. And then here goes to the act actuator. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to get the cover on that, get some zip ties, clean it up, and it's, uh, it's working well. That's how simple it is you can do. Um, I'm going to a little closer look at my setup here. Uh, this is just a simple hinge. This is a unistrut. Uh, this right here is my uh, actuator solar panel. I used little screws here to adjust it out. And then um, these are just simple uh, uh, in post from your local hardware store. I've got two of them. They're set in concrete, two foot down. So pretty simple setup. Uh, easy to do. So, oh yeah, the uh, this little tracker was $75 on Amazon. I thought it was a real good deal. So. Uh, We'll see how well it works, and I was able to utilize one of my solar panels. So, uh, y'all have a great day, and keep listening.